Hi everyone, um, it's Lindsay. Maddie is downstairs watching YouTube videos. She did not want to join in for this today, so it's just going to be me. On our last um, video, I had said we were going to be doing a review of Pop Century, and that was kind of not true. <laughs> um, I just had to cover because I knew our next video would be this video, and we took a surprise trip to Walt Disney World. Um, Maddie um, did not know. Her dad and I planned it. She had no idea we were going until the day we left. So that was kind of my way of not letting on. Um, prior to us going, we started watching YouTube videos and haul videos were things that we started watching. And we love, love, love haul videos. So we wanted definitely to do one. So I'm going to jump right in. I have prices for almost everything. Not actually everything, but I can give you a pretty good um, guesstimation on things and I'm kind of all over the place we have all different price ranges and um, I don't really have a rhyme or reason to how I'm showing things I'm trying to do things so that they make sense but that doesn't always work out so the first thing I'm going to talk about is things that you get for free free so we all know Disney World is very expensive. Um, if you can find things for free or relatively inexpensive, always try to take advantage of those. So the first thing you get for free is your magic bands. Um, your magic bands are basically your, used to be your key to the world. Now I guess it's your band to the world. Um, it is your room key. It's your tickets to the park, your fast passes, if you're on the dining plane, it's your dining credits. Um, it's basically what you need. Do not leave your room without these. Um, if you're staying at a Disney resort, you automatically get these with your reservation and you get to select the color. They do have other ones that you can buy once you get on property. You can order them through the website as well. If they have ones that have Elsa and Anna and you know the different princesses and Star Wars and Haunted Mansion, just loads of options. Um, and then they have a new feature. It's in Tomorrowland. It's when you get off of the um, off of Space Mountain, that gift shop there. They have um, where you can customize magic bands, and it's really actually really cool. Um, you can customize them with different backgrounds that you want, and you can put your name on them. We did not do that because we wanted to spend our money elsewhere, but it is a really nice, really neat feature. That's also the only place where you can get a purple magic band. So your magic bands, very important. You need these. Um, the next thing that I say is free are your resort mugs. So once again, we stayed on site. And we had the Disney dining plan, which we love. We won't go without it. Um, so with that, each person gets a mug. And they are microchipped in the bottom. So when you put your cup on, it tells you how soon you can get a refill and how good your cup is for. So that's kind of nice if you're you know, sitting there trying to drink, 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 you're not going to be able to refill as quickly. Um, but we use these a lot. We stayed at the Wilderness Lodge this year. It was a really amazing, beautiful hotel. So when we were um, coming back from the parks, we had to walk right past Roaring Forks, so we just pop in there, fill our cups, and head upstairs. So again, your cups for free. Find a good spot to put these. So the next thing for free is our bag of candy. And we actually had three of these. Um, I condensed them for our travel, our flight home. And I have the other one I think is downstairs somewhere. I took some of it to work because it was a lot of candy. Um, we went to Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party. We went on the 29th. It was um, it was pretty busy, but it wasn't too bad. But if you've never gone, I highly recommend it. It is amazing. It is so much fun. The parade is one of the best parades I've ever seen at Disney World. And the fireworks are hands down the best fireworks I've ever seen. Period. Ever. They're awesome. Um, and every person gets a bag. 
no matter how old they are, every person gets to trick or treat in the park, which is pretty cool. So highly recommend that if you can make it to the Halloween party. And I say it's free candy, but you have to pay for the Halloween party. So, okay, so I have one thing that we bought that was not truly Disney at all. Um, Maddie loves cats, and you'll notice that as through things that we buy that she's obsessed with cats. So at the airport on the way home, she saw this, and she had to have it. So we picked this up. <laughs> glare on there. It's just this like little mosaic walking cat. It was at some little kiosk in the Orlando airport. She had to have it. She loved it. Um, he was $19.99. So that's about the only thing that's not, you know, wasn't bought at Disney. Okay. So moving on with the magic bands, um, you can buy, they have these sliders and you get three in a package. You can see that very well. That one is Big Thunder Mountain. And then we had Space Mountain and Splash Mountain. And I believe these were $6.95 for the three of them. So not too bad. It's just a kind of a fun way to add some of your, your own personal taste to your magic band. Um, so let's move on to stuffed animals, which we always take our own stuffed animals because we sleep with stuffed animals. And then we brought more back, which is not fun on a plane. Um, but in Magic Kingdom, no, I'm sorry, Animal Kingdom, Maddie picked out this little leopard, snow leopard. I don't remember how much this was. I can't find the receipt. And Maddie ripped the tag off of it already. So I don't know how much he was. He's pretty cute, though. And then she got, we got this in Magic Kingdom. Shelly May. So if you know Disney, you know that we have a Duffy the Disney Bear that Minnie made for Mickey when he was going um, out on a ship. And she didn't want him to be lonely, so she made him Duffy. And we have Duffy. And they came out with Shelly May, who is Duffy's friend. So we picked her up. I think she's so cute. She's really soft. If you've never felt Duffy or Shelly May, they're really soft. Um, you notice their base is a Mickey head. And then her little feet is a Mickey, Mickey head. So she's pretty cute. They did have outfits for her as well. We did not purchase any of those. They had Marie, Aurora, Tinkerbell, and then I think a Christmas outfit. So... We didn't pick those up, but, and then she did come with this little book, and Duffy had one, it has one of these too, that just explains, you know, this is her story of how she was made and why. And Shelly Mae was about $32, so she was actually cheaper than I thought she was going to be. Um, let's go to popcorn buckets. I'm a sucker for popcorn buckets. I don't know why. I just apparently have to have them. I got this one at the Animal Kingdom, and you can see it's the Halloween. It says, Happy Halloween. It's got the little skeleton guys chasing Mickey in the graveyard. Um, I don't remember how much this was. Your, the popcorn, I know you can get as a snack credit, and I think it's probably around $4. So if I had to guess, I would say this is around 8 something. But again, that's a total guess. Um, but they do fill it with popcorn, so you just have one to bring home. And I have probably three of these things, so I just like them. And then this one, um, again, I'm a sucker for popcorn buckets, and I saw him and loved him and had to have him. Um, and it is Elf Mickey. I love him. I think he's so cute. So I actually got him at Hollywood Studios back when they were doing um, at the Osborne Lights. So this is the last year for the lights, if you didn't know that. If you've never seen them, try as hard as you can to get down there because they're amazing. They're totally worth it. Um, but we got lucky. We went at the end of October, beginning of November. So we hit Halloween and a little bit of Christmas. So we got to see the lights. Um, I'd actually booked... 
Maddie and I a trip to go in December, and I was able to cancel that because we got to see the lights early. So saved us some money there. Um, but I got him filled with uh, caramel corn, and he was $14. And you can see how his little, little hat comes off. And he's so cute. I love him. So I'll put him out at Christmas time. I also have, um, from a few years ago, a Halloween one that is Mickey dressed as a ghost. And he's so cute. I use him um, when Maddie trick-or-treats. That's her little trick-or-treat bucket. Okay, so cups. I also got this little cup at the Osborne Lights, and you can see it says the Osborne Spectacle of Dancing Lights, and it says Hollywood Studios, and it's got Mickey, and Minnie, and Goofy, and everybody on it. It's really cute. The only thing I wish it had is I wish it had the year on it, um, but um, I got this the same time I got the popcorn bucket at the um, Osborne Lights. And they saw me coming because I spent so much money within like five minutes at those lights. Um, it came filled with either like hot chocolate or coffee and it was like 88 degrees and I did not want something hot to drink and they would not let me get it filled with something cold. So I just got it empty and I think it was around $8, but it, I, again, I can't remember for sure. Okay, and then we have this cup. We ate dinner one night at Hollywood Studios at the Sci-Fi. So Maddie got this little cup, um, which I thought was pretty cute. It's the little hard plastic. And what she liked so much about it is it came with one of the glow lights. And these are really cute. Um, they change color, so you can see how it glows, the, makes the cup glow. Um, Especially when you're eating at Sci-Fi where it's really dark because it's like a drive-in if you've never been there. So it's pretty dark in there. So the cup was um, glowing, which made it extra fun for her. And I have no idea how much this was. I'm sure if you look online and look at their menu, you can find out how much this cup is. I have no idea. Um, so a couple more drinking. Um, Maddie picked out a little Mickey-shaped straw. She got this at Magic Kingdom. Um, at Cosmic Rays. You can pretty much get these at any counter service throughout the park and throughout the resorts. And it was like 69 cents, so pretty inexpensive. And I think this might be my last cup. Nope, it's not. I'm lying. But um, I got this for my husband. He loves Star Wars. And Maddie and I have never seen Star Wars, so before we went, he made us watch the first one. So we would have some idea of what like when we do the ride, I still don't really understand, but okay. Um, so I got him this Chewbacca mug. I loved it. I thought it was so cute, and I love how tall it is. Um, and this was $14.95. So I didn't think that was bad because this is a pretty good size mug. So I also got a mug. I got this Alice in Wonderland mug. And I thought this was really cute. I looked at it a few times trying to decide is that the mug I wanted to get. Um, and I just I just like how it looks like it's three mugs stacked on top of each other. So um, I picked that up and this was also $14.95. So to go with that somewhere, I have some Alice in Wonderland tea. And it's got six different um, flavors, and each one has eight tea bags in it. So I thought since I bought the mug, I should buy the tea that goes with that. And this was $13.95 for these different teas. See that? Sorry, there's kind of a glare here. Okay. Um, so some of the inexpensive things that we do, um, we do the press pennies. So we did some of those, um, you know, they're just end up looking like that. We have a bunch of them. And a few years ago, we did not buy this this year. We bought this a couple years ago, um, but they still have them. And apparently I should have bought a new one. They have these little books where you can hold your press pennies. So I should have bought a new one because look, it's full. 
I only have one more spot for a quarter. I guess I have some spots up here for some more pennies, but um, the books do look a little bit different than this now, but they still do sell these. This one was $6.95. They may be more expensive now. I don't really know. Um, I didn't realize this one was full. I would have bought a new one. Okay. Um, one day we were at Epcot and it was crazy hot and I forgot my hair tie. I always carry, put a hair tie on my wrist. I forgot it. So I had to stop and get hair ties. And again, I don't have my receipt for this. I think there were four in the package. I can only find two at this moment. Um, but just these little hair bands with the little Mickey beads on the bottom. Um, again, I, it was hot. I needed a way to pull my hair back. And no idea how much these cost. Maddie, that same day, um, her hair was getting all in her face and I wanted to be able to see her face in pictures. So I picked this up in Epcot. This little crazy hair piece, which makes me laugh, but she liked it. And this was, I believe, around $13. So I didn't think that was too bad, but um, sorry if you're seeing those emails come through. Um, I didn't think that was too bad because it kept the hair out of her face. And it's got these little Mickeys, you know? So, but I thought, oh, that, that's nice and fun. And when they have crazy hair day at school, she can wear it again. Okay. Um, trying to figure out where to go next. I will go to this one because this one will be super easy. This has a vinyl nation in it and pins. So a lot of these are um, like hidden pins, like you don't, mystery pins, so you don't know what you're getting. So we're actually going to do another video opening all of these together. So I can get that out of the way. Um, while we were at Epcot, again, this will be another quick one. I can get this out of the way. We went into Japan and bought a bunch of different candy. Just, we wanted to try it and see how it tasted. So we're going to do another video of opening up these candies and trying them and see what they taste like. So, look forward to that coming. Ooh. Um, then also in Japan, we picked up these little figures again. Maddie got the cat, the little black cat. And then she picked this up for her teacher. Her teacher really loves owls. So she got this red owl for her teacher. And they give you a little sheet of paper that tells you, I don't know if you can see that very well, it tells you what the different colors mean. So the black means will protect you from illness and evil spirits. And then the red is will bring you good fortune for business and good health for children. And she picked that one because her teacher is pregnant. So, so she wanted to get that to take back to her teacher. Um, in Japan, again, we did a lot of shopping in Japan, apparently. Um, we ate at the Japanese restaurant, like a hibachi. And we picked up... Um, these chopsticks we always eat with chopsticks when we go to hibachi maddie loves it she thinks it's really cool so she got the white kitty cat and i got the panda um these were 4.95 i actually picked up another pair for um one of my friend's daughters for just a souvenir to bring back to her so 4.95 i didn't think those were that was too bad okay trying to stay in epcot in Norway, I had seen this on another haul video, so I definitely wanted to check it out. And I went into Norway, which is between Norway and Canada. Those are my two, well, and Germany too. Thanks. Germany just because of the pharma shop. Um, but Norway and Canada are my two favorite countries at Epcot. Norway kills me with their, their stuff they sell. I love it. Those beautiful sweaters. Someday I will buy one of those sweaters that are like $250, but they're gorgeous. I love them. 
So I wanted to check out this perfume that someone had posted in another haul. And I went in, it's called Layla, and it smells so good. And even my husband was like, yeah, that smells really good. And he despises perfume. He hates perfume. He hates smelling candles. So I knew if he liked it, it must be really good. This was $57. So I picked that up for myself. We did, um, we also hit Food and Wine Festival, which is awesome if you've never been. It's fantabulous. We love it. Um, they did this Remy's Ratatouille Hide and Squeak, and I've never seen this before. Um, I think this might be the first year they've done it in Food and Wine. They, they do it at um, the Flower and Garden Festival, and they did it this year for Food and Wine. So it's this little map that you pick up. And it comes with these stickers. So you can see the stickers are now all on the map. And you find Remy. He's just a little statue. Um, and he's got a different food item. And then you just put the sticker in the country of what food he has in that country. Some of them were really hard to find. We had to ask for help. Um, some of them were, like, way obvious. Really simple to find. So, but once you completed this you took it back to the port of entry that was shop there and you got to pick out a pin they have different Remy pins you can pick from so Maddie picked out this one it's Remy with the salt shaker which is the one I would have picked too so I thought that was pretty cute and this was $7.95 which I didn't think was bad because it kind of helped us you know keep her interested at Epcot and we got a pin out of the deal, and a pin for $7.95 is a pretty good deal. So, um, this, I don't know if this is my last thing at Epcot or not, but on one of our last days, we were in China, and it was warm, it was really hot, um, so Maddie needed an umbrella for the sun, and... I'm not going to open this all the way. She picked out the pink one. You can see it's got the um, pretty flowers on it. And then on the side, they wrote her name in Chinese. So I thought that was pretty cute. And it was like $17. So not terribly expensive here. Okay. Um, when I'm at Disney, I try every year to get... Um, they always have a, if you spend this much money in a shop, you can get like one of these two items for a certain price. So I always try to do that, and I was able to do that this year, twice actually. So the first thing that I chose was this blanket. And it um, comes in this little bag, and it's got the little drawstring. So that's a nice little cute little bag. And then the blanket looks pretty much identical to that. I don't know how well you'll be able to see this, but can you see that? It's pretty much the same um, picture of Mickey. The blanket is, um, it's okay. It's not really, really soft. I have another blanket over here that I got a uh, couple years back, and it's a lot softer. So after I got it, I'm like, ooh, I probably should have got the lunch bag, but nah, what are you going to do? Maddie liked it, so. The one they had last year was really, really, really um, soft, and um, it was so good that we fought over the blanket, so we bought another one because it was so soft and amazingly um, snuggly to sleep with. So then, like I said, because we got... Um, the end of Halloween, the beginning of Christmas, they switched over the product that you could get. So I was able to get this bag, and these were both $19.99. They were $19.99 when you spent $40 or more. And they had this bag out, and I thought this was so sweet. A little Christmas Mickey and Minnie, and I am a sucker for Christmas. I'm a sucker for Halloween, and I'm a sucker for Christmas. So this was the perfect time for me to go. So I picked this up as well. I don't really know what I'm going to do with it, but that's kind of how I shop. Um, so let's go into, I think, this stuff over here. So like I said, we saw the Hollywood, um, the Osborne lights. And again, while we were back there, I did a 
kind of, they didn't buy a whole lot of items, but they kind of added up quickly. Um, Maddie picked out some ears for herself. She got this set of ears, which I guess go this way. And somehow, oh, here we go, they light up. So, those were pretty cute. She picked those out. And those were $23.47. Yeah, that's what it says. And then I picked out these ears, which I haven't even taken the tags off yet. I thought they were so cute. I haven't worn them yet. Still have the tags on them. But I thought they were really cute for Christmas. And these were $21.95. So I like these. These are super fun. And because it's the last year for the lights, they kind of have some special merchandise. They had this ornament. It says Disney Hollywood Studios, and then on the back, it's got the Osborne Family Spectacle of Dancing Lights, and then the year. So I picked this up because I always get at least one ornament when we go, and I wanted something with the lights on it. So the last thing I bought over there, oh, the ornament was $9.95. This was my favorite. Again, it's the last year for the lights. So they have this shirt, and it says, That's a wrap, 2015. It's got Mickey and Goofy on it. Um, I saw this, and just, I looked at my husband, and I said, I need this shirt. And he's like, no, you don't. And there was a lady next to me, and she said, yes, she does. So I bought it. <laughs> and then on the arm, it says Disney Hollywood Studios, which is kind of cool because um, that at some point they're going to be changing the name so it's kind of cool that you get the osborne lights in the hollywood studios on there and those are both going to be going away although i secretly hope that they just move the lights and don't totally get rid of them even though i just spent all this money on the final light stuff um this shirt was 32.95 so Moving on, what's in here? This is something from Epcot. This, um, we had our neighbor watch our cats for us. He came over and fed our cats and everything, so we picked this up for him. It is um, a little bottle opener, and then it's a magnet. We got this in Germany, and this was $7.95. So I told my husband, I said, you can pick him up some beer and and the bottle opener, and there you go. Nice little gift to say thank you. Um, I picked these up in Epcot at um, Mouse Gears, and they were just, um, when you go to check out, they were just like up by display, so total impulse buy. Um, but I got one for me. It's just a little thing in notepads. See, there's a few of them in there. And then I got one for a girl at work. And these were $4.95 each. To keep it in kind of paper. I also picked up for myself these big paper clips. I thought these were so cute. Um, they're ginormous, but they're so fun. And these were $9.95. Then I got myself this little notepad. Um, I love spiral bound notepads, lined paper. Um, I use them to jot down stuff. I use them at work all the time and then I use them when I'm booking trips to jot down, you know, different information from people. So I wanted to get a Disney one. This was $16.95. And then I picked up these two sets of notepads. I'd seen these on other haul videos and loved them. Um, they had a couple of different ones. They have like princess ones, and um, I just got the plain, the plain Mickey ones just because I thought they were really cute. Um, these are priced at $11.95 each, but I got them. They were two for $19.95 at Mouse Gears. When I looked for them, because I was going to buy them at Disney Springs, I try to do like all my shopping at Disney Springs in one day. Um, they were just $11.95. So there wasn't like a two-four deal. So 
I did buy them there because I knew I could get them cheaper in the park. So I got those for myself. And I also picked this up for myself. I got this in the um, gift shop of the hotel at um, the Wilderness Lodge. It was something that I wanted to pick up and I didn't do it when we were in the park. So the one that I actually wanted, I didn't have, but I got this one and I figured I could just go online and order the one that I actually wanted. It's this big puzzle. This one has four puzzles. They're each 500 pieces. Um, it's the Thomas Kincaid um, paintings. But Maddie and I like to put puzzles together. So, and this was $29.95. Um, Maddie got, she plays Infinity, Disney Infinity. She's got the 3.0. So she wanted either a new character or something with that. So this is what she picked out. It's this Toy Box Speedway. I don't really know what this is. Um, she hasn't opened it yet. So I'm not even 100% sure if she's going to like it. So, But this was $19.99. Um, also at Epcot, I picked up for myself these two scarves. And one you can see is kind of a hidden Mickey print, sort of. Gives you Mickeys without having Mickey in your face. And then the other one I love with this little, the MM and then the Mickey silhouette. So they had a lot of scarves to choose from, so it was hard for me to pick. These are $21.95 for two for $36. So I got two of those. Um, Clothes. My husband also he got a shirt. Um, it was just a gray shirt. I said Walt Disney World and had Mickey Mouse on it. He, I don't know what he did with it. Um, I don't know if it's in the wash still or what. But it was twenty one ninety five. So um, and then Maddie got this shirt at Hollywood Studios at the. Um, gift shop right there when you get off Star Tours. So this is the one she picked out with, who is that, R2-D2? Yeah. So she picked that one out and it was $27.95. Okay. Um, shirts, I have one more shirt. Um, it's not technically Disney, but I got it at Disney. Um, it was at Disney Springs at Little Mismatched, which we really like Little Mismatched. We have tons of their socks. Um, but I didn't want to buy a bunch of socks because I knew that's something I could get, you know, here. I wanted to get more Disney stuff because we don't have a Disney store anymore. So I picked up this shirt for her. And it's fun. It's got this extra little cape where you can change what your sleeves look like. And the reason why I got this, number one, I picked it out because it was really cheap. It was like 10 bucks on clearance. But it also has this um, thumb hole. And she loves shirts like that where she can put her thumb through. I don't know why, but she does. So that was $10. And I think that's all the clothes. Yes. Okay, so moving on. Um, like I said, we stayed at the Wilderness Lodge, so I always get a pen and a magnet from where we stay. So I picked up this one, which I thought was really cute. It looks like a little totem pole. And this was $7.95. Um, I picked up, Maddie and I each had a hand sanitizer. Mine is the Minnie Mouse. And you can see on the back, it has the Disney hand sanitizer. I figured when this was empty, I'd just refill it. Um, and then Maddie picked up this one with the icons from the parks and the monorail. So these were each $9.95, which is really kind of pricey for what they are. But um, I have a puppy nephew who is super cute. He's a miniature dachshund. And... He is the only person in the family besides us that got a souvenir. <laughs> um, so I picked him up a little chew toy, and it's a Mickey waffle. 
sweet. It makes me so happy. I can't wait to give it to him. Um, and this was $10.95, so I'm excited for him to play with that. I picked up this pin for a coworker. And you can see it just says mini on it and has Disney parks. I don't remember how much this one was. If I can find the receipt. Nope, I don't know. I don't know how much that was. Um, while we were at Epcot, I missed this one here. Maddie picked this um, bracelet out in Mexico. It's a friendship bracelet. And it just says, like, if you wear this, you make a wish. And then you wear it. Um, over time, it's eventually going to get thin and fall off. And then legend says, when it falls off, then your wish will come true. So they had these in lots of different colors. And she picked out the blue one. And this was $5.95. Okay. I think we're getting there. Um... Okay, this was mine. I have a Pandora bracelet. So every time I go to Disney, I get um, at least one new charm. And this year I got two. This trip I got two because I was actually there for spring break as well. Um, I got the castle. See that? And then that blue charm has the year on it. And if you move that, which it might be hard to see... There are little Mickey heads. I don't know if you can see that very well. It's not focusing. Um, but I really like these and I like the castle. When I went at spring break, it spring break? Maybe it was last year. I made sure and I got the hat because I knew it was going to be coming down and I wanted to have the hat um, charm. So those charms were a little pricey. The castle was $65, and then the blue with a year on it was $70. Um, let's see. This one, just some little odds and ends. I picked up these magnets, which I thought were really fun. Got the Mickey pretzel, the Mickey ice cream bar, the Rice Krispie Treat, and then the pizza with the Mickey pepperoni. Um, these were $11.95. I got these in our gift shop at our hotel. You can actually get them in pretty much any gift shop. This, <laughs> when I found this, I was so excited. And I know if you, when you see it, you're going to be like, really? You were so excited about that. But um, when Chris and I got married, we went to Disney World on our honeymoon. And it was the first time we'd ever gone to Disney together. And Chris has gone ev went every year as a child, so it was a big part of him growing up. And I loved Disney forever and ever and ever. So I got myself a keychain, and I loved this keychain. It had um, little dangles, and it had a little um, charm that was the icon from each park. And Chris lost my keys at the mall. So I lost my <laughs> keychain. So I found this, and it's almost identical to the one that he lost. And the only thing that's different about it is, oops, they no longer have the hat. So instead of the hat, it is the Tower of Terror. So it's got the Tower of Terror. It's got the castle. It's got this little thing that says Walt Disney World. That, it, that was actually on the old one. Then it's got Mickey with his sorcerer hat on. And then Spaceship Earth and the Tree of Life. So all of these were on my old keychain. So it's almost identical to my old keychain. So I'm so, so excited and happy to get this. This, it says it was purple. I don't know for certain, but the magnet was also purple and it was $7.95. So I have a feeling this was $7.95. But I don't have the receipt. Um, every year also that we go, Maddie gets charms for her charm bracelet. So we picked up some of these. She got the little mini ears. And this one is really cute. It's a glass of milk with a Mickey cookie. Um, I picked out this one, Duffy, because I love Duffy. I think he's so cute. I'm so sad that they don't have a Duffy character meet and greet anymore. And then Stitch, because we think Stitch is pretty cute. 
Um, these, I think, are about maybe $4 a piece, around in there somewhere. Okay, we're almost done. Um, so with Disney Springs, like I said, I go down there and try to do most of my shopping in one day. Um, I went to Basin, which is one of my favorite shops down there. Um, it smells so good. I picked up a bath bomb. I got this for my friend's daughter. Um, it's really cute because when it dissolves in the water, it leaves Mickey-shaped confetti in the water, which is really cute. And then I picked up some soaps, and I love their soaps. Love, 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 love their soaps. So the way they do their soaps is it's um, they slice them in their... Um, you pay by the pound, by how much they weigh. I don't know if it's by the pound, really, but... Um, I picked up this one. I thought this was cute with Christmas coming. It's just red and green Mickey heads. I can't, I can't really smell it, but that one was six eighty nine. In the little bath bomb, um, was four forty nine. And then I got this one. I got this one for a friend at work, and it's just solid, um, solid color Mickey's. Six twenty nine was this one. I got this one. I thought I'd put this in my kitchen. It's lemongrass, and it smells so good. Yeah, it smells really good. And then I got three of the same one, and it's almond honey. I wish you could smell how good that smells. So I got three of those. So you can see, that's a decent size bar, and they average about $6 each. So. Um, also at Downtown Disney, oops, sorry, Disney Springs, not Downtown Disney anymore. Um, we went to the Lego store, which is probably Chris and Maddie's favorite store at Disney Springs. Um, Maddie picked up a Lego Friends set. And this is Mia, the skate park is what that is. Um, and then we picked up a few other things. I got this for a friend at work. It's a, there's a big shadow there. Can you see that? Not very well. It's a Yoda magnet. He was $6.99. This Mia skate park was $19.99. Um, this was something that, again, was by the register, Total Impulse Buy, but I thought it was really cute. It's an ice cube tray, so it makes ice cubes in the shape of Lego blocks. Um, $7.99 for this. And then Maddie, she's done this a couple years in a row now, where you can pick um, your body parts and make your Lego characters. So you get to do three of them, and I think it's like $9.99 a piece, $9.99 for the three. Um, and you pick the legs, the body, the head, and then either hair or a hat, um, and then an accessory to go with it. So it's not too bad, and they have a big... Um, this big huge thing where you can rummage through and find the ones that you want. So we got that. And then we picked up keychains. We always get keychains when we go to um, Disney, apparently. So Chris, my husband, he picked out um, the Hulk. And then he picked out this thing. A wicket. I don't isn't a wicket what you play in, when you play cricket? Um, well, I it's Star Wars, but I don't know what that thing is. So if you know, just let me know because I don't know. Um, I picked out um, Luke Skywalker because I like Luke from the movie, the first movie, the only one I've seen. And then I picked out um, C-3PO because I liked him. One of these is going to be a friend or a gift for a friend, but I haven't figured out which one yet. Um, I also have Chewbacca, who's already on my keychain, um, but he's missing both of his hands. But I haven't been able to find him again to replace him. But I really like Chewbacca. I did know who, Chub who Chewbacca was before I watched the movie, so. Okay, I think I just have a couple more things. Once again, at Disney Springs, we always get a Christmas ornament when we go. Um, we usually pick up just like a generic ornament, and then we get one for Maddie that's personalized. So the first few years, I just picked them out because she was so little. 
but this year, the past couple years, she's been picking them out. Um, so she picked out this one this year, and I had it personalized with her name in the year. And she picked out Jack Skellington, which I thought was really cute. We really like um, Jack Skellington. And then on the back, you can see it has Maddie in 2015. So I will show you probably why she picked this out. Do you see right there? It's a cat. So that's probably why she picked this out. Which um, kind of makes me laugh. But we have a lot of ornaments. We actually do our tree just to Disney. So I bought one of their um, ornament trees because I had so many of those big bulbs that I didn't have enough room on my tree for all of them. So um, this ornament was $24.95 and then it was $6.00 to have it personalized. One little bit of advice, if you're going to get a Christmas ornament, if you're going close to Christmas, and by close to Christmas, I mean possibly mid-November and on, especially if you go in December, and you want it personalized, that needs to be one of the first things you do because they get behind. They get so many um, things to personalize last time not last time but the first time we went and got a personalized ornament it was like oh it'll be ready in six days and I was leaving in like three days so that wasn't gonna work so I had to have it shipped to my house and I don't want to have to do that every time so just a word of advice the closer it gets to Christmas the busier that store gets with personalization okay this is our last thing so I normally get a new purse every time I go. I have a couple of the Disney um, Dooney bags and I have one of the Harvey seatbelt bags which by the way is really really great and really nice quality. They're really durable so if you check one of those out I recommend them. Um, this year I tried to get something a little bit cheaper and a little bit different so I picked up this Veer Bradley bag and I liked it because it had the Mickey head stitching but it's not like in your face Disney, um, and it's not that in your face Vera Bradley. We actually live where Vera Bradley's um, headquarters is, so Vera Bradley's pretty common around here. And some of their patterns I really, really like, and some I'm just like, eh. So I didn't want something that was that bright, floral, um, kind of in your face. So I liked this, this bag. Um, and it was pretty cheap. It was only $75, so a lot cheaper than the, you know, $300 Dooney bag I was contemplating. Um, and I don't know if you can see in there, but the lining is Mickey, which I thought was really cute. Um, and then I picked myself up this new wallet that I thought would look pretty cute with it because I did a little bit cheaper purse. I got to get the wallet to match it. And it was $24.95, which is kind of pricey for a wallet. Um, so last thing, I um, every year, well, every, not every year, but every year since last year, every time I've gone. So um, last year, and then I went to spring break, and then this time I pick up a new um, bracelets on myself, a new Alex and Alex and Annie, Alex and Annie bracelet. Um, so this is the one I picked. You can see that. Um, I just really like these. Um, I do have a coworker that I think gets agitated because they're clingy when I <laughs> am sitting at my desk typing. And this was, I don't know. I think it's around $40. So I think that's everything. Uh, one really quick last thing. We, like I said, we're on the dining plan and Disney, um, it's not brand brand new, but it's new since the last time we were there. They started, if you have counter service credits left at the end of your trip, you can convert them to snap credits. So for each counter service, you get three snap credits, which is really, really nice. Um, for us because we find that we don't use all those counter services 
and it's nice to have we bring those snacks back and I use them like in Maddie's lunch and it just kind of keeps us at Disney a little bit longer so we just picked up some snacks and I'm not going to show you all of this but just to give you an idea uh, Maddie picked up some cotton candy I got some Rice Krispie Treats um, shortbread cookies if you're at Disney get these shortbread cookies they're so good um, these cookies are really good too these big cookies and then we picked up these bags of candy so this is kind of nice to see what qualifies as a snack credit which these are pretty good sized bags of candy so those qualify as a snack credit so. um, some mints Maddie picked up some pretzels so lots of lots of goodies in there that we picked up so okay I think that's everything <laughs> Um, well, I hope you liked this video. Um, we had a lot of fun at Disney, and we're going to be making a lot more videos to come. Um, we're going to be doing our pin, um, unwrapping of our pins, and then tasting our Japanese candies. Um, and I do want to make another um, one pretty soon that is just showing you different options for autograph books and some things that we have done over the years to kind of not use the same thing over and over and over again. So, okay, I hope you had fun watching, and I will see you next time. Bye!